All right, everybody. So you have to bear with the echo. It's I'm using QuickTime for this, so it might sound a little weird. Sorry about that. Um, I'm going to do a quick run through on HC Realms because I notice a lot of folks don't know how to use it, and it's actually a really good tool. There's a lot of things out there in HC Realms for the HeroClix players that I think is useful, especially on the trading side of things. So we're going to play around with this a little bit, and I'm going to show you uh, since I'm fairly good at doing these sorts of things. Um, just like I said, excuse the echo. There's I don't know how to fix it quite yet, and I'm still working with it. Uh, so here's your basic splash page for HC Realms. This just shows you uh, uh, just they have some news items that they post, and if they get a new item that in the units or such, they'll show it. Like right here's the Batmobile that they just released a couple days ago. At the top is your basic stuff up here. Uh, home, obviously, that makes sense. Forms, that's for instance, if you want to talk about like Fantasy League stuff or Deer Whiz Kids or trading forms, which I'm going to get to. Units, uh, that's where I can look up specific sets and specific units inside of here and see their dials and upcoming stuff, all that kind of stuff. It's all available to you. Uh, iTrader, this is where, when we get into the trading portion of the tutorial, um, if it ever decides to show up, okay. Um, this is where you rate another person on their trade. And I don't have anybody to show you how to do this exactly, but I can show you what all is entailed in it, and I can do a dummy test. Um, albums, groups, and blogs, I don't fiddle with those, so you're welcome to go play around in here as much as you want, but I don't fiddle with that stuff. Alright, so uh, let's do the run through. So home, when you go in here on the right hand side, you'll see over here, this is my username, and you feel free to add me on HC Realms if you want, just let me know who you are. Uh, your icon, which you can set, uh, how many posts there are, your logout button, your, your private messages or PMs here, and it tells you how many you've got allowed. And that's bumped up by certain things, and I can show you that. And then your online buddy list, and you can do a quick PM right here. Um, so let's go look at my private messages. So this is your inbox. It's just like an email inbox. And these are different things that people have sent me on trades. And... I can show you, and you can go and delete these because you can see just by default you've only got a certain number of stuff available to you. Uh, if you don't, there you can donate money to HC Realms, and they will give you more, uh, more things like you can set your own icon uh, that's not from the predefined list of stuff that they give you. You can get a bigger inbox, which I don't really care to have a bigger inbox. I don't do a whole ton of trading on here, but if you plan on doing Uber trading, then you know, more power to you. Uh, you can jump into sent items, you can delete stuff. It works just like an email inbox. Uh, so right here, uh, let me just pop in here. So this is a guy who sent me one about Colossal Apocalypse, whatever. Um, down here you can look at his have once. Apparently he has an eBay link. You can go to that. You can forward the message or you can reply. It's pretty straightforward. Down here shows you his username, his icon, uh, his join date, all that kinds of stuff. And then iTrader rating. High trader reading is pretty important when you're doing trading. Um, let's go hop at his profile. So here's the profile, just as an example. You can see visitor messages, just like a, a, a wall, basically like a Facebook wall. I can post on their wall. Uh, they've got a about me thing. There's the statistics. You can see all the threads and posts. And this is where you see if they've got any open tra trades, uh, friends, and contact info. It's all pretty straightforward. And you got reputation points, and I haven't really gotten into that a whole lot. Some people are bigger about it, but I don't really get into that sort of thing. Um, I'm going to save trading for the last because trading is, there's a lot more nuances to it. Here's your units. Um, we'll go in, say, mm, let's go to Chaos War. And for all you kids who really care, I like Loki. So we're going to go with Loki. Now normally in an older set there's a picture over here next to where it says rarity super rare. You'll see a picture and I'll show you. But this is like full dial statistics. And this is all user ran too. So, you know, everybody works as a community in here. And they put all this stuff in manually, which is, you know, really awesome for all those players because we get to see as soon as something is released, all this stuff is available to you. Um, so, you know, you can go in Justice League here. And here's all the Justice League stuff. Um, let's go in Galactic Guardians and I'll show you a, a, a full 
posting. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why they never upload a photo. Here's the coveted Doctor Doom, of which I'm extremely on the hunt for right now. And you can click on it and post to see his photo right there. And there's a full thing, and then you can post user comments, and they'll post uh, how much he's worth and that sort of thing. And they pull from TCGPlayer.com, I think. And you can take their pricing with a grain of salt. I don't really follow it that much, but I can get into that too. Uh, this goes; these sets go all the way back to Infinity Challenge and Hyper Time. So, anything you want to look at is here. I have really not found a set that, or a figure I can't find. Um, and you can add. Here's the big thing too. Um, say, Doctor Doom, for instance, is a figure I want. So they have each under each figure. There's a keep, have, and want section. And keep won't show up to anybody but you. Uh, I've had people bother me about my GSX Magneto and my, my uh, 75th Sinestro, so I don't want people seeing that I even have it. Um, so I put it under keep. Granted, I don't keep my have want list up to date, so if you ever go on my blog or go on my profile, never pay attention to it because it's way out of date or it's, it, I don't feel like fiddling with it. So I post a want there. You'll see over here on the left hand side under inventory your collection, your haves, and your wants. So we go into my wants, and you'll see now I've went in here and added a couple things recently, and some of the stuff is so out of date, it's not even funny. You can add numbers and stuff like that. Um, let's see, right there, Dr. Doom. I just added him, he's in my wants list. So, and I set this when I first got in here about a year and a half ago, this is so out of date. You can do a Gile generator here as well. This is for, if I remember correctly, if you want to post something. Uh, something hasn't been put there yet. Uh, so that's that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, haves and wants, it's, it basically works the same exact way as wants. This is That's what a lot of people go by when they trade. They'll just post their entire collection or the stuff that they really want to have or trade for. They'll do it that way. Um, but that's not how I roll. I, I do whatever I post is what I'm trading. That's how I like to do it. Alright, so a thing I'm going to point out to you guys about trading is, let me see if I can find it here. Read the trading rules before posting. And you go into the trading forum, and there should be some rules right here. Rules for trading on HC Realms, and I encourage everybody who wants to trade on here to read these, because you're not going to get a full, full deal from just listening to me. Granted, I'm going to go through and get you up and ready, but uh, I still encourage you to read this because I ask everybody to read it before you go on here. There's useful links here. You can get scammed on MC Realms. I have never been scammed. I cross my fingers. I've never been scammed. I'm very lucky. I'm pretty picky with who I trade with, and I get very angry when somebody you know scam, scams me like that. Um, this right here goes through everything I went through. Uh, how to leave feedback, which we're going to go through. Bad alert trade or bad trader alert. You can look at that, and I'll show you that. Trader warning system, etc. Um, this shows suspicious activity, this tells you what the moderators do, marketplace, if you want to sell stuff, I'm not going to go over that because I can't sell stuff. You have to have a trade rating, I think, of 25 before you can trade, or before you can sell. I can't remember, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's see, buy, sell, or trade. Location, please post only one thread at a time. If you post more than one thread, they will hammer you for it, so just be careful. You can do what's called bumping your own thread, which means when you bump it, you can put your thread at the top of the list in the trading form, and I'll show you how to do this. Um, I can't actually do it, I've already done mine today, but I can show you what you do. Um, and when you want to trade with somebody else, you bump their thread and send them a private message. Again, if I find a trade form, I can do this, so I'll show you. Um, like right there it says, you may bump your thread once a day. If you do it more than once, they will get after you. I've accidentally done it once, so they're not that bad about it, but just be careful. Don't sell what you don't have. Trade it, whatever. You know, If you don't feel comfortable, don't do it, and that's definitely, definitely a good, a good way to do it. Sales and auctions, like it says right there, I trade a rating of 25 to seller auctions. So you've got to do some trades in order to do this right. Uh, all trades got to be made through P private messages. Uh, be wary of people who only trade through you know, emails. Um, 
the eye trader rating, this is what this is feedback. It's like eBay feedback. So the person with the lowest eye trader feedback will send first. So if I trade with you and you've never traded on the realms before, I will ask that you send me your stuff first. It's kind of a safety mechanism. It, it protects me as a trader to make sure that you're not going to scam me and take my stuff. That's why the iTrader rating exists. Now, um, that's at your discretion, really, but I would suggest just following what they have set up for you because it's, that's the way to go. Um, most folks are real nice about it. I've never had anybody get real snarky or real mean about anything like that. Just follow the rules and everything will be fine. You can simul send. I've had some folks do that. Somebody will say, look, I trust you. You you know, you say you got the stuff. I, you got, I got a confirmation number from you. I'm just going to go ahead and send the stuff to you. You know, no big deal. That's up to you. That is your call. I, not, I haven't done it myself, but I've had people do it for me, which is really cool. And uh, just a rule of thumb. And that's a bad HTML there. Um, just a rule of thumb. If you're going to say you're going to trade something, don't back out of it. Or you better have a damn good reason why you're not doing that trade. Because it makes you look like a, a deadbeat, to put it nicely. So that kind of thing. Just make sure you do all your stuff. Put your ducks in a row. Make sure you're doing it right. Shipping, you know, it's this is pretty... Everybody here understands how to ship. You bought things from eBay. You know how bad it is if you get somebody that ships something that looks like crap. Don't do that ship it, make sure it's packaged properly. Like today when I got my, my Loki in, he was not packaged very well. And it kind of upset me. All he did was like put some paper around it. And you know, I picked up the box and I could like shake it. That, that is not cool. That was a $10 figure. $10 is $10. You're going to package it properly. Especially when it's money involved. So just, you know, just package things properly. You can use old, old um, grocery bags newspaper, bubble wrap, whatever works for you. Just get a nice sturdy box. And um, I had a, one person, I think, picked by pen. Uh, they sent an actual booster box taped up, and it was very well packaged. They just taped up the booster box and everything from a Chaos War box, and it worked. It works just fine. So however it works for you, I usually have boxes laying around that I do mine. Um, usually, if I have gravity feed boxes, I'll take a gravity feed box and I'll put the figure in there and then I'll, I'll pad that and then I'll put that in the box and pad around that gravity feed box as well. So it's double packaged so the figure's not going to get bit up. Especially really big figures, expensive ones. Um, just be real careful. It, obviously, if it's a bunch of CUR, it's just little stuff, you know, you don't have to take as much care, but I, I do because I'm a little bit obsessive compulsive about that sort of thing. So just, you know, do that and be nice to folks, you know, because they're going to have to send something back to you. And if you don't care, they may not care, and they just might send you stuff, send you your crap in a horrible way, too. So just, you know, do it nice. Um, use delivery confirmation. Always, always, always use delivery confirmation. There really is an excuse to not have one, um, unless you're shipping internationally, which... If you're trading internationally, I don't do that, and I wouldn't recommend doing that until you get some get your feet wet with trades um, by mail. That's your call again, but I had a guy offer me something in the Philippines, and he wanted to lowball me on a trade, and I just, I don't know. So just be careful, because some folks internationally, too, are more likely to scam you at some point. So just you gotta read that scan thread. There was a place in Spain that was notorious for scanning folks, so just be careful. It costs more to ship internationally too. So it just depends. Uh, shipping with insurance, that's at your discretion. It doesn't matter. Um, what you do is contact, contact, contact these people if you have a problem. And if you can't find anything out, then you can eventually contact the the uh, what's it, the administrator. Um, feedback, uh, when I get to the iTrader portion on how you leave feedback, um, you need to do this. It's really good to just leave positive feedback. If you have negative feedback, I would first try to work it out with the person and find out why you would give that and try to see if you can find a way to get around giving that. It's just like eBay. They don't like you doing it. It looks bad for all parties involved, so just try to avoid it. Um, and they give you the rules here, that kind of stuff. 
um, abuse, I'm not going to go over that. So that's all there is to the basic rules. We're going to go into the trade forms now, and I'm going to show you an example of what some things look like. So let's see. I can show you mine, but we're going to my buddy James. James has got a big form. He's got really big stuff. Um, so there's James's username, and there's a join date, post, try trader rating. He's got a really big eye trader rating. Rule of thumb too: if you're gonna trade, try to trade with folks who have big eye trader ratings. They have really good reviews. It's a lot safer to do because those people don't scan, those people don't do negative feedback, that kind of thing. It's really good to trade with people like this because it's safe for you and you're getting a chance to make a name for yourself in the community too. So most of the time this is pretty basic. People have have and wants. Uh, you can format this however you want and I'll show you this in a little bit. And then beneath that are what's called the bumps. Now these are a little old because James has had this thread for forever. Um, but what to do in order to bump, and I'm not going to actually do this, um, but you click on this little quotation right here, and you can just say bump and PN, which means I'm bumping your thread and I'm going to send you a PN regarding a trade. And, you know, then from that point you do a, a private message to that person, and I'll show you that in just a second. Um, and you can click on James's have once here. And this is irrelevant, what's here, but it shows you a list of the stuff that the, pe the person wants. So that's pretty basic. You can quote, that kind of thing. Now to send a PM, the easiest way to do that from within the thread is to click on the person's username and then say send a private message to you. And then you click on that and it shows you the username and you can title it and however the kind of this kind of stuff you want to do that and that's that's all there is to it is bumping and PM and you have to bump before you PM because a lot of people will not respond to you and some people don't respond to you regardless of what they do don't worry about them I don't know what their deal is I've had people ignore me and I don't even know why um, so let me hop into my thread here real fast so in order to get to my thread and my open threads I can go to user CP Click on View All Subscribe Threads, and it will show the top one here is my current trade thread. So I'm going to click on that. And here's my current trade thread. Mine's somewhat nicely formatted, um, and right here, you know, everything I put in here is, is right there. You have and you wants, and then I put some rules. I put some basic stuff like you know, please PM, you know, bump before PMing. Standard rules apply. I only trade in the U.S., so sorry, folks, if you're international. I don't like to trade outside the U.S. It's just kind of a thing I like. Um, I've had some folks try to say, well, you know, if you pay me such and such amount of money and trade me this, then I'll do that. I don't do that on the realms. We trade or we buy. We don't do both. Not on the realms. If I want to buy, I'll go to eBay. That's all there is to it. Unless you want to give me a fantastic deal, which case I'm still kind of sketchy. Um, so here's my thread, and how you edit it is you go edit, and just, you know, basic stuff. You can go advanced and edit this, all this kind of stuff, however you want this. And it's not full HTML, so don't get too excited, because I wanted to do strike through, and it just doesn't happen. Uh, so how do you pull, post a new form, an open trade form? You click on new thread, and I'm not going to actually do this, but... You click on new thread in the trading form and you title it and you put your stuff in there. And you can put tags in there or however you want to do that. And you just click submit new thread. Now a way to grab folks' attention is to say want certain figure. Like I want Galactic Guardians Chase Dr. Doom. So you post want GG Dr. Doom or Chase Doom. And then you say have SRs, Chases, etc. Or have... I have the Chaos King, for instance, so have Chaos King, etc. And that's usually more of an attention getter. So you try to you have to try to market yourself in trades and try to make people come to your forum. Like I said, you can self bump once a day and make sure you put in there that you won't respond to to messages unless they bump because it's real fishy when they don't bump your thread. Uh, so bump and PM please. Um, beyond that, that's basically all there is to posting a thread and responding. Um, 
Now we're going to move on to the iTrader portion. So I'm going to go to iTrader. And let's say, I don't know if I've got somebody here I can click on. I did one earlier today. Um, let's see. Let me go look at one of my buddies here real fast. Let me just copy one of those. Let's just grab Zettles. So I'm going to go into iTrader. And this is also what I recommend you do too. If somebody sends you a PM, go look on their iTrader rating before you do anything and see if they're sketchy or not, because some folks are. So I paste his name into search for a member and click on go. And it shows his post, his avatar, his username, and iTrader. So you click on iTrader, and this will show you, you know, his recent ratings, his feedback score, all this kind of stuff. And his looks really good because he has all positives, no neg neutrals or negatives. And this shows you individually who's posted, um, what they posted, and when they posted. And how you do this is you click on Submit Feedback for... In, in this case of trading, I don't deal with selling. I haven't done any buying or selling on HC Realm, so I'm not real sure on that. You have to read up on the rule. So I click on trade for trading. Overall experience is the positive. I always go for positive. You do a little short comment, say great new trader, great, you know, great trader, thanks, that kind of thing. Dead thread URL. This is the either the URL of your thread, so when you go into your thread, you just copy and paste the URL up here and paste it into this dead thread. I recommend using tabs to do this, or, or the person you're trading with thread. You have to put this in here, otherwise it won't let you post the feedback. And down here, you can leave a comment down here, and it's only visible to admins, uh, you and the person you're sending it to. So you can say, you know, thanks for this figure, hope you enjoy this figure, that kind of stuff. It's real basic. And... I always check folks out before I do anything. Um, that's really all there is to it. HC Realms is pretty self-explanatory from that point on. Um, it's just the initial hump of getting into trades is kind of confusing, and they don't really lay it out very easily for you. So I figured I'd go ahead and do this for you because a lot of folks don't know how to do this. So um, if you get on the Realms and I do a trade with you on Tumblr, I'm going to recommend that we move everything over via um, Tumblr to the HC Realm. So when we do a trade, I'm going to send you iTrader feedback, and I hope that you guys send me iTrader feedback because we are doing a trade, and it helps both of us. It's mutually beneficial. So I always ask people to do this, not to mention it's kind of a safety precaution for both of us because if you get scammed over Tumblr, there's nobody to do anything about it. If you get scammed on the HC Realms, you can't necessarily get your figure back, but you've got ways to help get around it. You can go and say, this person's a deadbeat, you know, they stole my figure, whatever. And, you know, there's some, there's some safety nets to it. So this is actually pretty nice. Um, if you have any questions at all, feel free to send me a message on Tumblr or on HC Realms. You see I'm about square hour. On HC Realms, you can send me a PM, uh, send me a friend request, and just say who you are on Tumblr, and I'll most likely approve you because I'm not too picky on buddy list on here. Um, but that should wrap it up. If you guys have any questions at all, like I said, just give me give me a holler, and I'll help you out with it, no problem. All right.